D3. So, this is the third uh, differentiation rule. And we call this one as the power rule. Okay, so let's start. So, the power rule states that if we have a function f of x, which is equal to x to the power of n, so n is a number, it is a real number, it's, it can be any number, it's a constant. Okay, then the derivative of this, derivative of x to the power of n, is just n times x to the power of n minus 1. So if you try to observe, it seems that n okay, uh, went down, it went down, then we simply subtract 1. Okay, so it went down, and then we simply subtract 1. So that's how you get the derivative of the function. This is a shortcut, okay, instead of using the limit definition of the derivative. Let's try getting a proof of this. Let's prove the power rule. Okay, so just a disclaimer, I'll be using a proof, but the assumption is n being an integer. There is actually a proof for n being all real numbers, can be any real numbers, but uh, right now we don't have the, uh, in this course, we don't, we don't have the proper tools to proceed with that proof. Okay, so right now I'll be proving partially, so just in the set of integers. Okay, so again, we use the limit definition of the derivative. Okay, so we substitute x plus h to our function, which is x to the power of n. So we have now x plus h quantity, the power of n, minus the function f of x, which is x to the power of n. Okay, so here is some thing to take note. Uh, remember, if we have the difference of either two squares or two cubes, Okay, so for example, if we have the difference between two squares, let's say we have a squared minus b squared, we have a minus b times a plus b. If we have a cube minus b cube, we have a minus b. Okay, and then we have a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so actually there's a pattern for that. If we have a to the power of 4, b to the power of 4, we have a minus b, and then this becomes a cube plus a squared b plus a b squared plus b cube. Okay, so that's the pattern, and this is actually the pattern if we have a to the power of n minus b to the power of n. So we have a minus b, when we simply subtract 1 to a, uh, subtract 1 to the exponent of a, so n minus 1, then we have, it's decreasing, okay, so the exponent of a is decreasing, while the exponent of b is increasing up to b to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so that is the pattern that we're going to use. So, uh, going back to the definition, derivative, we can expand this. Okay, so this is actually like, this is our a to the power of n, x plus h to the power of n is actually like a to the power of n, while x to the power of n is like b to the power of n. And applying the same principle, so we have x plus h minus x, so this is actually our a minus b, and then this is our a to the power of n minus 1 is a to the power of n minus 2 is a to the power of 1 and then we have our x here x here is actually our uh, b okay, so we have this is our b then this is our b to the power of n minus 2 which is this so on and so forth so we just apply the pattern to our uh, scenario here okay now if we substitute zero so this becomes actually we can cancel out 
x first then what remains is h over h here so cancel out h hence we are left with this so we are only left with this here this uh, factor here okay then uh, we multiply x take note we have the same variable so we can actually add the exponent so instead of n minus 2 we have now n minus 1 here okay here instead of n minus 2 we have now n minus 1 here so we'll have if you try to observe it's all n minus 1 now okay so we have n minus x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of n minus 1 until the last one last term x to the power of n minus 1 so the question is how many x to the power of n minus 1 okay it is actually if you try to count uh, going back to let's say we have a squared minus b squared we have a minus b here plus b if you try to count the terms here okay so whenever n is 2 the exponent is 2 the number of terms here in the second factor is also 2 same goes with a cube minus b cube we have a minus b we have a cube minus uh, sorry not a cube a squared minus a b uh, sorry plus a b rather sorry plus b squared so the number of terms here is also three okay so this is actually n okay the number of terms there is actually n so we know that this is just n okay there are a total of n terms so we have n times x to the power of n minus one there are n x minus x to the power of n minus 1 okay. and this is actually the proof of the uh, d derivative or differentiation rule so if you have x to the power of n, n you simply have n times x to the power of n minus 1 okay so let's have an example so for, for example we have f of x equals x to the power of 10 so take note if we use the limit definition it will take time for us to find the exact answer of this okay so instead of using the limit definition we simply use the rule so we just put the 10 as the coefficient of x and then subtract 1 so we have our derivative already as 10 times x to the power of 9 again if you try to if you try to use the limit definition of the derivative, it will really take time. So, if you want to check it, yes, you can check it. It will give you the same answer. Okay, so that's all.